All right, everybody, welcome to our first week of the American economy. I wanted to make this video to just show everybody a little bit how to navigate in the Infinity Desire to Learn system, just in case you've never taken an Infinity course before, and also just to review some of what I talked about in our announcements and our weekly schedule. Um, every week, uh, by usually by 5 o'clock on Sunday evening, I will post our weekly announcements on our homepage here. As you see, I have this week's posted already. Uh, make sure you read them every week. There is important information in there, including every week I'm going to include what I suggest for the week's schedule. As I mentioned in this week's announcements, this schedule isn't when you actually have everything due or when it absolutely needs to be done by. I just come up with a tentative schedule um, of if I was taking this course, what I would when I would complete the material. I try to schedule about 50 minutes work of 50 minutes worth of work for every day um, so that if you follow this schedule, you know, getting Monday's work done on Monday, Tuesday's work done on Tuesday, and etc., that you won't have any work to do in the evenings or on the weekend. Um, I, I realize that not all of you have a 50-minute period to do this work during the day, um, so some of you won't be able to get, you know, Monday's work done on Monday and Tuesday's done on Tuesday and so on and so forth. Um, so none of our assignments generally are due until 5 o'clock on Sunday evening. So if this schedule doesn't work for you, you're welcome to create your own, to work at it at your own pace. But the week's work is always due by Sunday evening. I'm going to go through this week's schedule a little bit and show you where you're going to find the material at, just in case you're not familiar with uh, Infinity's setup. So Monday today, hopefully most of you are viewing this on Monday, uh, the first thing I have on there is for you to browse through the course syllabus. I have a second tab open here where I have our content. But you can find all of our class material under content. So I'm going to open up a new tab. And we will see the content. Notice that I'm in the introduction tab here. Uh, in the introduction tab, the first thing you'll see is this the syllabus for the class. Um, you don't need to read absolutely everything in there. I'm not going to open it up, but there's a lot of material in there that probably doesn't pertain to you that we're just required to put in there. So by all means, look at the syllabus at least, you know, browse through it, scan it, find the important stuff, but I don't expect you to read it, you know, cover to cover. Uh, the second thing for your for Monday that I have scheduled for us is to read the class procedure document. That's also in the introduction section here. Where it's right after the syllabus. This one I do expect you to read start to finish. It's just about a page and a half, two pages long. But it does a good job of explaining how things work in this class. So you do need to read that document fully and understand everything so that you know what I expect from you guys taking this class. And in fact, your first graded assignment in the class is going to take is going to be taking a quiz on what you read in the class procedure document. So that is the third thing in the introduction unit, uh, this class procedure quiz. Like all quizzes, it is timed, so you'll have one hour to complete it. The quiz should by no means take you one hour to complete. If you read this document, the class procedure quiz should take you 10 minutes tops to complete. Um, but it's important to know that it is time because if you do open it up, if you start it and then close it and then come back two hours later, you won't be able to access it. Because once you open a quiz, it's only available for one hour. Once the clock runs out, you cannot edit it anymore. So make sure you complete that as well, hopefully on Monday. Like I said, it is graded. It's 10 questions worth 10 points, one point per question should be pretty easy points as long as you read the class procedure document. Uh, and then the last thing I have for you to do on Monday is just to send me an email. Um, I have my email address up here and I mentioned it in the class procedure document but the best way to contact me is through email. Um, I get emails forwarded to my phone. I get a notification on my phone whenever I get one. So if you email me um, I'll be able to see it right away as long as I'm not you know, preoccupied with something else at that time. But I do respond to emails very quickly. Um, under no circumstances will it ever take me more than 24 hours to respond to an email, but that's the absolute max. Um, in most instances, you'll get a response from me in at least an hour or two, unless, like I said, I'm completely swamped with something else. 
Um, but again, I just have on here for Monday for you to send me an email. I don't really care what the content of it is. You can just, you know, send two sentences saying, hi, you know, looking forward to taking the class or whatever. Um, the main reason I'm having you do it is just so that I know that you have my right email address saved and that I know that I'm able to receive your emails. Um, you just never know with spam filters and whatnot what might get caught in a spam filter. So I want to make sure that I do actually receive all your emails and I will respond to everybody's email. So if you send an email to me and you don't get a response to me within 24 hours, um, that email did not get through to me and you should find another way to contact me either using the pager system in Infinity, which is up here and which I mentioned in the um, in the course procedure document that I, I prefer for you, for you to not use this pager system um, unless, like I said, unless email doesn't work. Because when you use pager, I do not get a notification on my phone. When you use email, I do. Um, so again, it's your, uh, your last assignment for Monday is just to send me an email. Um, like I said, don't care too much about what the content of, it, content of that is. Just I want to know that it gets through to me. Tuesday, the first thing I have for you to do is to take this pretest quiz. That pretest is also in the introduction section, um, right here, your pretest quiz. The pretest is 20 questions, and they're 20 questions that I don't expect you to be able to answer at this point, having you know not taken the class in, and especially if you've never taken an economics class. Um, but the reason I have a pretest is because at the end of the course, I have a post test. And it's just one way that I track um, student progress, just to prove that you did learn something in this class. So when you take the pretest, don't worry about getting the questions right or wrong. You know, obviously try. If you know an answer, answer it correctly. But don't take any time looking up questions because you are not graded on how you do. You do get a grade for completing it, but that's just a 10 out of 10 for answering all the questions. Does not matter what you whether you get them all wrong or all right, as long as you complete it, as long as you answer every question, you will get a 10 out of 10 in the grade book. And that grade won't show up in your grade book until I manually put it in. So once I see that you've taken the quiz, I'll in the grade book just add your, your grade as a 10 out of 10 in there. Um, then the next thing I have for you on Tuesday is to make an original post in our icebreaker discussion board. Um, that's also in the introduction material right here. Um, what I ask for you to do in the icebreaker is just to introduce yourself to the class. Um, I kind of have the bullet points on what I expect you to include in that icebreaker, but it's basically just a get to know you thing. Um, when you do post in any of our discussion boards, please use, you know, full sentences, proper grammar, everything like that. Um, and when you respond to somebody else's post, I ask you to, for any of our discussion boards, to respond to at least two other students' posts. Um, and when you respond to someone else's post, please have it be more than just, you know, I agree, that's cool, you know, stuff like that. At least try to expand on what your classmate wrote in their post. Um, I do ask that you get this introduction post done no later than Wednesday because your classmates do need time to respond to two of their classmates' posts. And if everybody waits until Sunday to do their original post, then it's going to be hard to get those two responses in. And then the last thing on Tuesday is when you're going to actually start the actual economics content for this class. And the first thing I have you watching is just a, it's about a nine and a half minute long video that is through Khan Academy, which is just an intro to economics. And in the content tab here again, so again, the icebreaker is the last thing in the introduction. So the Khan Academy will be the first thing in unit one. So when you get to unit one, Again, it'll just be this first link, Introduction to Economics, Khan Academy. Just watch it. Again, I suggest you get it done on Tuesday. It's only 9 to 10 minutes long, so you should have plenty of time to do that, as well as the other things that I have assigned for Tuesday. On Wednesday, then, the first thing I have you doing is uh, watching another video. This one is a lecture video. It's this, this version of the class, the American Economy Economics class at MIT, um, a pretty prestigious college. And... That video just does a good job of kind of setting the groundwork for what we will be talking about in this class. That one's a longer video. Uh, the link right here, again, is the second one in your Unit 1 content. But it's about 36 minutes long. So, you know, it will take up the bulk of your day Wednesday if you have 50 minutes set aside for this class. Most of that time will be spent watching that video. 
Um, but again, does a good job of talking about some of the basic, basic stuff in economics. Um, and then you do have a short quiz, uh, your first quiz related to the content, content in this class. They also have a sign for Wednesday. Uh, the unit one quiz yourself number one, again, in content right here. I have it set to be due on January 31st, which is Sunday at 5 o'clock. Again, like all the, the other assignments you'll read in the course content, if it's not done by that due date, it will be docked 50% off. So if you don't get it done by 5 o'clock Sunday, you're only getting half credit for whatever you get right. But that quiz is based specifically on one part of this lecture where they talk about normative versus positive economics. Um, but again, if you watch this video, you should do just fine on the first quiz. Uh, Thursday, then, I have you reading some text. Uh, you, you will read a fair amount of text in this class. It's a college-level course. You're expected to be able to read college-level material. Um, and that, again, is in this Unit 1 content, Chapter 1 text, The Study of Choice. Um, I do have in, in the announcements here the pages you need to read. So you'll be reading 12 to 18 and 23 through 28. And I'm just going to open that up real quick so I can show you the parts that you're going to skip. So the very first, again, this is this is a textbook that actually goes with that MIT course that you watched the lecture on the, the day before. Uh, but it's going to start on page 12, and you're going to read this section through the end of 1.1, which ends on page 18. Uh, once you get to the end, after this key takeaways, you don't have to read this try it section or this case in point, the rising cost of energy. If it interests you, by all means, read it. Um, but you're not going to be quizzed on it or anything. Um, and then when you get to the end uh, of that, then 1.2 is the other section that you should read, which is from page 23 through page 28. So that goes... through page 28 there. Um, and then you get to this microeconomics versus macroeconomics, which was talked about a little bit in that Khan Academy video. All right, and then Friday, I have you taking the unit one quiz yourself number two. Uh, so again, that's in your content here. And that quiz is based on all the things from the week. So the two videos and the text that you read. Um, is what that is is based on. Um, also on Friday, um, you are going to have to make two reply posts to you the icebreaker discussion board. So that's just the intro discussion board that we have, the intro discussion board that we started at the beginning of the week. That's just saying that hopefully by then there's enough people that have posted to it that you can go and get your two responses done. And then that would be it for this week. Um, I realize I have one thing on here that I'm going to be deleting by the time you see this, um, by the time you see the news feed, so I've moved this one to a later, later week, so ignore that one if you're watching this video right now, the complete basic economic questions assignment. You'll be doing that at a later week. Um, but again, I think that's a good summary of what we're doing for week one. Um, like I said, I hope everybody gets off to a good start with this course. Uh, gets all your assignment, get all of your assignments done in a timely fashion and have a good first week of the American economy. If you do have any questions for me, by all means, feel free to include them in your email to me or email me at any point when you are struggling with anything or whenever you have any questions. Thanks and have a great week.